Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm still kind of testing out the GoPro. Um, Friday I had to come over here in the woods and do some work on the skitter here. It's a Tiger Cat 620H. And um, it started raining on me pretty bad and it was kind of a mess out here. It's still kind of a mess, but uh, it ain't pouring down rain. And uh, kind of testing out this new GoPro, just got it. And I want to see how the footage and stuff's going to look on it. So I don't know if this will ever hit YouTube or not, but since I've already kind of done the job and whatnot, but since I ain't getting footage of it, I just thought I'd let you guys see what, what we were up to and test out this GoPro 8. So these extension pieces on this, on this blade right here, they, um, they're bolted on. And, um, well, this side of here, which is the side that the operator mostly drives off of when they push trucks and stuff out of the mud, this side here takes a beating off. So we had just fixed the bolts in it about a week ago and then it broke again. So what we ended up doing is we actually took the one, they're reversible. So we took the one off that side and put it over here and put this one over there because this, it got bent up this last time that the bolts got broke off right here. It bent these flanges up back here on the back. You can see right here how that's bent and that's bent well this other piece that was laying out here i'll show it to you so this other piece that was laying out here i i made an attempt at trying to get it straightened out but i mean i still it's still pretty bent up we weren't gonna be able to bolt it up this flange over here so i um we just went ahead and swapped them that was the easiest thing to do but um yeah so basically we put the bolts back in it to more or less line everything back up but then i just ran a bead well two beads i put a root in it and then i'll put a nice big pass over the top all the way around under the bottom might be a little ugly but it was raining on me and I really couldn't see what I was doing. They need to put windshield wipers on a hood. I guess they don't think anybody's stupid enough to weld in the rain, but they ain't met me yet. So yeah, some of the stuff here is a little crooked because I couldn't see. But it, I could see a lot better on the back side for some reason, but when I was out here on this front, I couldn't see what the hell I was doing. And yeah, just did a bead all the way around. On this side too, but this is the main side. And then I tried to straighten out this this here too a little bit, but I beat on it with the hammer right there a little bit, but it wasn't moving. I was like, screw it, I'm getting poured down rain on, so I just just welded her up. So what I ran out here for today was one to test this GoPro 8. Two, I wanted these that are not locked nuts. Some of these other bolts, they lost all the bolts when I got broke this last time, so I had to get some more bolts for it. And they're not lock nuts, so I'm gonna tack these bolt these nuts that I had to use that aren't lock nuts. So got a couple of those I want to tack. So I just I just threw the weld machine in the back of the pickup truck and ran back out here. And I need to burn diesel and all and drive the big truck out here for just a couple of tacks. So I just took this off the back of the truck and took the crane and shot it in the back of the pickup truck. And that's what these uh these hooks come in handy. And I just made a little thing. I already had the hooks, and I just took another little piece of stainless and made it where it bolts into the um, factory locations of the bolts that hold the hold the metal on. And uh, these two big eye hooks are nice, man. You can hang all kind of stuff off of them, pick up the machine, and it's real easy just to pick it up and move it, and um, not have to not have to worry about um, grabbing all the leads and stuff. And they just come with it, so it makes it a little more mobile that way. I also need to, while I'm out here, I'm gonna look at the loader and see what I gotta do about getting this um, panel hitch on it for the measuring pole and get the get the uh, measurements and all right for it. They gotta be within four inch tolerance, or two inches either way um, when they send the stuff to the mill. So that's for that project. I worked on it yesterday, but I didn't have a new GoPro 8. And I didn't have any good way to sit you guys up and time lapse and film. So, but now I do, but... Um, so maybe you get to see some more of that job now that I got a new camera set up. The other reason I had to run up here is I forgot to um, lock the cab of this tractor. <laughs> so I wanted to fix my mistake before the guys came back in on Monday and caught me. 
Sneaky, sneaky. Let's make sure no one already caught me. Nope. It's still unlocked. So I'll lock this up. And that way no one over now. Probably gonna edit this part out. All right. Oh, locked it up. All right, so I'm gonna knock that out. I'll see if I can't set you guys up on time lapse and y'all can watch me watch me work a little bit. See if we can get that working. I got a cool little stand for it. It's not magnetic, but it's got a little clampy clamp on it. I'll show you. I wanted a magnetic one, they didn't have them, so got these big like a clamp clamp thing. And I want to, it's got this uh, flexible deal here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can set you guys up off the back of the truck or something you can watch. pretty cool this is a water hose with a got a nozzle and everything on it it's pressurized got a big tank back here behind the blade and this is in case the machine catches on fire you got a water hose up here you can you can douse the flames with water I thought that's pretty cool but we got to open up this little tray right here to be able to get back in here to where we're at so I can take those bolt heads Alright, so this is the measuring pole I've been talking about. And they just use this big pole to pull their logs from the um this big thing sitting sitting right here. It's called a delimmer. And it's got a big saw blade on it that comes down and chops. And so what they do is they stretch the log out to either this point or this point or this point depending on what they're cutting and this is how they measure because they got to be pretty tight on their tolerances for you know what they're doing out here you know two inches is pretty tight so um i got to take a look and see what it's going to take to modify this because what they have now is just kind of a timeout.
I'll be right back. Let me grab some stuff before I get up there. All right, so now I got my girl power notebook, the pendle hitch, and my tape measure. Now we can climb up here to the front. All right, so this um, current setup. It's just this um, one inch piece of plate right here. I know this is hard to see guys. It's, it's crap everywhere. Yeah. It's just a piece of one inch plate up here, like a tongue. And they got a hole in it and they got a two inch pin. And they got another piece of one inch metal up here that's been welded to this machine. Um, so what we did on the new one is so they got a brand new loader and so we're setting it up to take the place of this loader but we need this measuring pole so up in here i put a male side male male end of a pendle hitch ball up in here and i just welded it to the frame sticking out and then um so we gotta get this welded onto the end of this boom pole some kind of way so that our measurement to our blade on our delimmer is the same. So I've taken some measurements off the trailer already and I know that this setup here is six inches different than the new setup just because the base that this delimmer is sitting on is slid forward about six inches further on this trailer. It's the same trailer but the delimmer and the machine or just the relationship of this machine to the um to the trailer itself is six inches further that way so the boom pole needs to get six inches shorter so i gotta take x amount of material out of here because i need to go from well i need to know what the center is of where i put my um pinnel hitch which i know that's about four and a half inches um back which this one is three and three quarters back from the edge of this landing gear right here so just need to deduct and add all these measurements to figure out from the center of here to here to center there to there and once i cut whatever i gotta cut off of here and put this pendle hitch on here that needs to be um the same measurement from this delimmer to all these different nodes sticking off this measure pole as it is on the other one so got all my stuff i'm gonna sit here for a minute figure that out and then sometime probably in the coming weekend next weekend or something when they get ready to shut this thing down or i don't know when we got to get this this measuring pole um back together and hooked to the new loader so i don't know when that's going to be in the next week or two so i'm um, just doing some work ahead of time so that when i'm out here i'm not fumbling around trying to figure stuff out hopefully i'll have a game plan put together so when i'm out here burning logging crew time i'm getting stuff done instead of figuring stuff out so just doing a little now save myself some time later and keep the customer happy we're wanting to go to this setup because this pin they're saying they're battling this pin getting in and out so we go to this pinnel hitch setup it should be much much easier to get hooked up so basically what i've got i've come up here to the front and right here so the trailer is exactly the same it's 128 inches from the back of the landing gear way back here from the back of this landing gear to right here 128 inches and it's the same on both tractors the difference is from here to here this is seven inches from here to here on this one on the new one we got an inch and a quarter so that leaves me a five and three quarter difference between supposedly where this delimmer blade chops based off all this five and three quarter inch difference on the new tractor uh oh i just dropped my tape measure down in the logs crap oh there it is I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Oh, I got to go around the other side. 
Hang on guys, I gotta rescue my tape measure from the log, the log trap, and I'll be right back. Oh man, I got it. All right, so I think I got all the measurements I need to make these log poles work out the same. I'm gonna head back into town and I may go by and look at the other loader and let you see guys see some of that. Um, so, hit it back out of here. See you in a bit. Alright, so this is the new loader. I got a pinnel hitch welded to it. And I'm thinking if I just go from here to the center here, and then from the center there back here, and get those two distances after my takeout, I gotta go get my um, pinnel hitch. I can sit it on here and uh, come off of there, and then I should be able to subtract my distance, what I need to cut out of that. Um, existing boom pole to make this work so this is kind of what we got going on here all right guys appreciate you watching the video it's probably it for today i hope you like the gopro 8 footage and hope you guys stay tuned and come back for more and like and subscribe and just want to appreciate you guys for watching see you next time beautiful Sunday out here Did you guys see some of this beautiful South Carolina clear cut but it's still pretty just enjoying a Sunday out in the logging woods I guess I don't have anything else to say um, but I hope you guys like the videos and hope you guys keep watching and like and subscribe and send your buddies see you next time well, I think Din Din was a success. What did you like? Mm -hmm. A little chit chit, a little corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Had some beans, didn't you? Some light red kidney beans. You say hey to the camera. You say hey to the camera. Yep, that's a corn. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Pretty good stuff. Uh uh, Jackson, get over here, eat your food. Jackson, get over here, eat your food. You ain't done. Jackson. Uh uh. Get over here, eat your food. You ain't done. Get over here, eat this food. Man. You better eat it all, boy. <laughs>